lies in the heart of wine country between Busselton and Margaret River. The name originates with the Aboriginal word Kawara. This is the native name for the purple crowned lorikeet. Locals simply call the place Cowtown. It seems that that name finally gave birth to the idea that the town should have a number of cow statues scattered around. The area around Kawaramup is filled with places to visit. Natural attractions like caves, beaches and forest are supplemented with a lot of man-made attractions. Of course the wineries, but also cheese factories, chocolate factory, lavender farm, so many attractions it's hard to list here. In town itself you'll also find a number of interesting little shops. The candy shop is one of our favourites. Also the soap shop that sells all sorts of bits and pieces apart from soap and several other boutique shops that offer all sorts of interesting bits and bobs. It's well worth stopping for a while and having a look around town. There's also a very pleasant little park with an old historic church in the centre. Unfortunately development is coming to the area and just out of sight of the highway new housing developments are going up. We think in the end this will probably spoil the lovely rural laid-back character of the town. The town originally developed as a result of the group settlement scheme. A number of different groups were established in this area with each family receiving up to about 160 acres. The railway arrived in 1923 and was officially opened the following year with a free ride for local residents to the annual Bustleton show. 1923 also saw the opening of the Group 12 school and the building of a butcher shop which was later expanded to include general goods. An official post office opened in 1925 and Deakin's store opened at around the same time. The inaugural Kawaram Up show was held in 1927 and ran each year for the next 10 years. The first development in the area dates from 1922, but times were very tough and with the coming of the Great Depression, many settlers were either forced off or abandoned their blocks. By the time World War II started, about 60% of the settlement blocks had been abandoned. The end of World War II saw an influx of settlers arrive in the area as soldier settlers took up land. The railway was closed in 1957 as it was seen to be too costly to keep open. Originally MC Davies operated a timber milling operation in the area and this was soon followed by dairy farming, beef production, pig breeding, sheep farming, deer farming and of course wine production. There are now more than 40 vineyards in the area. Timber was milled in the area until about the 1970s but the last mill closed when suitable stands of timber ran out. The first grapes were grown by a Mr. Maleri prior to 1920 but it was not until 1967 that Vas Felix, the first commercial winery, was opened. Most locals relied on tank water until 1973 when a comprehensive water scheme was connected to the town. Nearby Kawaramup Bay, where Gracetown is located, is a popular tourist destination, especially with surfers. The old railway tracks have now been converted into an 18 kilometre walkway from Kawaramup to Margaret River. 